and hang out in Tony Hawk's Backyard Skate Park. We are just getting started. And superstar skateboarder Tony Hawk's exclusive backyard tour. That thing is too steep. Next. Okay, so this skateboard's doing most of the work for me, and uh, I'm still not so hot. Not like our next backyard lover. Professional skateboarder Tony Hawk is known worldwide as an innovator of the sport. A skating entrepreneur, he has books, even video games to his credit. Now he's putting a whole new spin on the term uh, working from home. Whoa! Hey, I'm Tony Hawk. Welcome to my home. I live here with my three boys and my wife. We've been here for about three years. We spend a lot of time in the house, but the best stuff is actually in the backyard. So this is our pool area, and to be honest, this is what drew me to the house in the first place. I was gonna build a pool, for sure, for my kids. We live in California, you know, it's sunny all the time. The cool thing about it is it comes with a diving board, and that's pretty rare these days. If we actually drain the pool, I think it'd be a really good thing to skate. But we haven't drained it yet. It's kind of a, it's a big task, so I have my own solution to that problem. And it's right over here. It's the eternally empty swimming pool. Yes! This might be the only backyard in America that's a 4,000 square foot skate park. The first skateboarders in the, in the 70s were really surfers. And then they decided, well, we want to learn how to ride like waves. They found empty swimming pools would be most like waves. And that's, that's how we've developed the, the sort of skateboarding that exists today. It's all based on swimming pool skating. And so this design that I have encompasses a little bit of everything. It has sort of the swimming pool element at the deep end. It's got the half pipe element on all the walls around it, the square walls. And then it's got the new sort of street action, which is the, the ledge, the handrail, the pyramid. And this is supposed to emulate a handrail that you would find going down a set of stairs. It's all kinds of tricks to be done on the rail. I mean, generally, I do board slide stuff where I'm sliding the middle of the board, either board slide or lip slide. It's just a matter of how much confidence you have. I can't believe that I have a place like this of my own. You know, I'll never move. And then we also have this ledge right here that emulates, like, park bench. The idea is you go up one side, you grind across it, and you come down the other. And then we have another part, which is sort of was my personal invention. Was, this what I like to call the wall ride. And to be honest, it, it was a little bit harder than I expected. It's fun when you make it across. It's scary when you don't. It just seems very serene when you come back here, and, and uh, it's my escape. I spend a lot of time on the road, and here I just kick back, and, and I get to do what I love, but no pressure. My kids really enjoy it. Hi, I'm, I'm Spencer. Honestly, uh, my younger one just started skating over the last couple of weeks, and they used to uh, be into uh, other different types of sports, basketball and stuff, and, and they just discovered skating. And, and I swear I didn't push them into it. They, they, they started picking up boards and doing it on their own. And as soon as Spencer gets out of school, he comes over, changes his shoes, and it's the park. <laughs> I've never seen him do it. It's the Keegan kick. He usually he puts his hands on the board. The park gets used almost every single day. It, it's hard for me to go to public skate parks these days because usually when I show up, people expect me to put on a show, and that's not really fun for me. I'd rather just be there in the mix skating with everyone, and that's what I get here. The, the centerpiece here is, is what we call the pyramid, and the idea is that jump from one side of the pyramid to the other. All the other walls around it are, are curved like a radius, like a swimming pool. And then the big, the deep end is about nine feet deep. And actually at the very top there, it, it goes all the way to 90 degrees, but then it goes past 90 degrees. So it actually goes to what we call oververt. And that's just more of a challenge for skaters that ride pools. And, and generally you wouldn't find a swimming pool that does that. That thing is too steep. You know, I'll keep skating as long as I'm, I'm able to stand up. It's so much fun, it's great exercise, and, and uh, you know, it's something that I can do with my kids, and so I, I don't see myself quitting, to be honest. You know, Maybe you won't see me on TV, but I'll be back here doing it. It really is a dream come true to have my own facility like this. Good session. We're gonna go inside to get a drink. Thanks for coming by. Well, there you go. It's easy to get more info on all of these great backyards. Just go to HGTV.com.